Why is holding a difficult conversation important? It brings about clarity of thoughts. It helps you to understand some uncertain situation and it also helps to mend family ties, friendship, relationships, and then you get answers to some unanswered questions. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Venita Ezene Evo and if this is your first time, thank you for stopping by. This is the best place to be. Check out other content. Please subscribe, like this video and share to your friends and family. Also drop something in the comment section. If this is not your first time, thank you for sticking with me. I hope you continue to be here. Please invite your friends to this channel, invite your family members, send them the link. Thank you so much. So let's keep it rolling. <music> The kindest thing you can do both to yourself and to the people you love and to your family members and to the friends and people around you is to bring up difficult conversations. I know it can be very uncomfortable, but if you don't, at the end of the day, you see that it is detrimental to that friendship or to that family or to that relationship. There's a podcast I was listening to and then the therapist said if you want to have a certain type of conversation, especially in a romantic relationship, it is best you hold hands and talk about it. It's very important to note that if you're going to have a difficult conversation with someone, you need to be ready to be genuine and open about it. No matter what the conversation is about, there are certain ways that you should bring it up, especially when it has to do with maybe someone's boundaries or your own boundaries or your triggers. Or even when you want to tell a friend maybe about body odor or mouth odor, you can see that conversations like this, if you don't bring it up, it's going to be detrimental to your friend and if you love someone then there are certain things you should tell them and also going about it the right way would help to get results because sometimes people just bring up some certain conversations in a certain way that just ruins everything even before the conversation starts so moving forward i'm going to be telling you how to go about having some certain difficult conversations but before we do that i just want you to also note that how you react to some certain conversations is also important because you might not be the one doing the bringing up but it could be your friend or your family and how you react is so you should be open about it you should be ready to understand their point of view to see things from their perspective it's the same way the person who's bringing the conversation should also be ready to see things from the other person's perspective to understand the other person and you see like when the both sides are actually trying to not just say their piece and get away but to say their piece and to understand the other person and also hear them talk then you see that of course there will be results whatever was happening will most likely be mended so yeah will most likely be set moving forward number one on my list on how to have this conversation is make sure you have this conversation physically and if it cannot be physically a video call or a voice call is okay but what you should not do is to have some certain conversations over a text. I know that you may not want to say it or you cannot look them in the eye and bring it up or you're scared about something. And, you know, some certain things surrounding it will just make you feel like, you know what, let me just text this or say this. But trust me, the best way is to be looking into the person's eyeballs. Is to be looking into the person's eyeballs while saying or making some certain type of, um, or making some certain type of, statements because then you can see the person's body language you could understand it you can know when this person is also trying to understand you they can read from your eyes that you're actually trying to be genuine about this you're actually trying to do this the right way and get results right and also a voice call because you know over a text maybe if you ask questions like why did you do that it's more like oh it's more like a command not like a command like okay do this but it will sound offensive and then the person becomes defensive like over a text so many things can be misunderstood or misread they would create a scenario in their head but if it's a voice call they could feel from your voice that you pro you were probably hurt and so that's why you want to understand why this person acted this way or why this person did this so yes i know that okay sometimes you cannot have this conversation um over the phone or 
a video call or you cannot have it physically and then a text so in the case of a text a voice note would be very very nice but what me i'm trying to say is that try not to have it over a text because it's most likely not going to go well or go the way you want it so just try to have it a voice call a video call because seeing the person eyeball to eyeball just makes things a lot better or physically which is the best the next thing is if you're not going to be genuine about this or if you're bringing this conversation up most likely to manipulate the person then it would definitely not go well because people can just sense when you're being funny or when every something is being fishy because what you need to understand is that people need energy and energy doesn't lie so when you're not being genuine or when you're trying to manipulate someone definitely they would feel it right they will most likely feel it and then the way you want the conversation to go it's not gonna be the way it's gonna go so if you're not genuine about it don't bring it up and if you're still very angry then don't bring it up just wait till you've you know till you're calm till you've thought about it till you know exactly what you want to talk about like okay for example when you're calm you might try to understand even before having this conversation why this person might have done this right or why this person might have acted in this certain manner or this thing happened and then when you've thought about it because you're calm then when you go ahead to ask the question you'll be asking questions like okay why did you do this i want to understand right and also the next thing i want to say is you need to make this person understand that you care about them that's why you're bringing the conversation up and if someone is bringing a conversation up to you or trying to tell you that you guys need to have a conversation just know that this person actually cares, right? It's not easy to bring up these conversations because once someone wants to talk to you, meaning that they most likely want to understand you. They want to tell you their feelings. They're probably hot and they want to tell you their feelings. And it's not easy for someone to open up to you and tell you what they are feeling or to tell you that oh, you actually hurt them by doing this or doing that or you didn't make this appointment and it wasn't nice, you didn't text me, stuff like that. So you should be very receptive you know when someone is bringing up something right and then the next Having one is this conversation to understand the person's point of view and not just to pass your information this is like the most important thing aside not still being angry aside telling the person that you care about them if you are having a conversation and in no way possible are you trying to understand this other person that conversation might not go well. In, feel, in fact, that conversation will not go well, right? You need to understand that people have perspective. It's their own personal way of thinking. It's their own personal way of doing things. It's their own personal way of you know, reacting to some situation, understanding some things. It's the way they've been brought up. It's what they know, right? So if you don't understand that this is probably because of the way they are or the way they are brought up then you most likely would not understand them so you need to keep your mind open right you need to keep your mind very much open you need to be open-minded in order to understand this person's perspective and then also when you're airing your mind hopefully most likely they could see that okay okay see right this way that they do things this way that they act or react or talk has probably hurt someone else and obviously when it's a calm city calm conversation they will try to do something about it and that's because you too you've also understood them like it's also is important that when having a conversation you could tell the person that i understand that you might be feeling this type of way and that's why you did this but look what it did to me look how i'm feeling right this is how i'm feeling right and once you say this thing in this manner the person will understand that yeah that's why the fact that this is how i was brought up that's why the fact that this is how i see the world i could see it from this other angle and not hurt someone in the process or it's not just be like hey, this is who i am what can i do about it right and also it's better to know that when having a conversation with someone and the person is in no way trying to understand you you just have to, you know, plan. You just have to have a plan B on how maybe to just walk away, give the person some space. Because I believe that giving people space sometimes help them to understand, you know, what was lost. Help, you know, it gives them, you know, the freedom 
to see that okay right now this person is no longer in my life then they start thinking about it in a, in a more objective and calm manner and they start to understand your point of view and if in case that it ever gets to that point where you stop talking to someone because they do not understand you and you are obviously hurt when they come back after you probably must have given them space then try to understand them and still have the conversation. I get that some people will be like, I don't want to talk to them. I'm not interested, blah, blah, blah. I get it. But if this person comes back, you know, sooner than later, it's okay to still, it's okay to still have the conversation and mend that relationship because people have lost good friends and good people just because of a little misunderstanding. I have walked into a conversation where I had the sentence from the middle and that made me understand misunderstand a lot of things but i had to call the person and say okay look what i heard i don't understand what's going on and the person was like no 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 that's what i said and then they started the conversation from the beginning and they finished and then it connected and then i understood that okay i walked in you know halfway and that's probably why and that's why i misunderstood it so learn to call your friends quickly swiftly keeping malice and because of something you don't even understand yet is bad. Like, at the end of the day, you would blame yourself. At the end of the day, you're going to regret. Why did I call this person? Why did I try to tell this person how I'm feeling? I know some people are not good at, you know, opening up their heart to say, okay, you hurt me. This is what you did. But at the end of the day, sometimes, I already said in the beginning, it's going to be detrimental to you. If you don't have a conversation, if you don't tell someone how you felt about a certain thing, even your parents, trust me, if you sit your mother down and see your father down and say, look, these things you say, especially for people who their parents are always bringing up marriage, when are you going to get married? Your mates are marrying this one, that one. It's like, they're just saying it. They don't know what it's doing to you. So it is left for you to bring them, sit them down, have the conversation and tell them that, look, See what this thing is doing to me, right? See what this thing is doing to me. And I promise you that they will definitely understand and, you know, try. And also, you should give people grace, right? People are wired a certain way. They're probably brought up in a certain way. So they do things a certain way. So if you need them to change, you need to give them, you need to have patience and you need to give them grace to change. Do not try to be fast, 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 fast. Right? Not everything is about speed. Some things need patient a lot of it right don't start the conversation unless you have plenty of time to talk because these conversations they don't just take like two minutes five minutes most times they take one hour two hours because everyone is trying to air their mind everyone is being open everyone is trying to be honest and you know conversations like this can lead from one thing to the other and before you know it you've gained so much knowledge about this person i mean you think you know this person but then you actually don't but with that conversation you've gained a lot of knowledge you now understand why this person why this person may act the way they do and this is so understand that okay these things that i do are not favorable to my friend or to my partner or to family members right so it just brings a lot of understanding and knowledge about the person that you are talking to so yes you need plenty of time to talk if you are you know rushing don't do that and besides whenever the situation occurs like whenever the situation occurs down to when you're ready to have a conversation like looking for plenty of time to do it you can see that you're more calmer and you have talked about a lot of things and then you can you know approach the conversation with a very positive mindset so yes plenty of time to talk and in a very calm environment not where people are passing and the marketplace definitely not you know somewhere calm somewhere private so that you can just air your mind without any distractions so yes that's like very important ask open-ended questions open-ended questions will give the person you're speaking to opportunity to air their mind and to talk for example you can ask questions like what do you think about what happened on friday what do you think about what occurred last week? Do you think there would have been a better way for you to go about the situation or for you to handle a certain situation? 
those are like open-ended questions and before you know the person is talking and then you need to be patient allow the person to talk like sometimes you don't even hear people like it is said and it is very true it is a fact that when you listen more you gain more information about someone you understand someone more you will find a lot about how the person thinks how the person acts why the person does this thing in a certain way like you just know where this thing might be coming from but if you don't listen you will not know so open-ended questions will help the person to talk and to air their mind so right this is the end of the video i hope you like it and again i just want to say that whether or not you're the person who's bringing up the conversation or whether or not you're the person who uh, the conversation is being brought to learn to have an open mind approach it with a positive mindset and you know definitely everything will be settled okay thank you for watching please share this video to your friends to your family on your whatsapp platform on your social media on twitter please 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 i'd really appreciate that um i'm going to put all my handles in the description box my twitter tiktok you know if you can tag me if you make a tweet about it thank you for watching see you in the next video bye